Okay, children, get ready for one of the easiest math lessons of your life, multiplying by 10 and 100. But first, let's start out with something even easier, multiplying by 1. Look at these problems. They're so easy, babies can solve them, because babies know how to multiply by 1. So let's solve these problems for the babies. 1 times 9 is 9. Remember, every time we multiply by 1, we get that exact same number. 53 times 1 is 53. 790 times 1 is 790. And 1 times 7002, you guessed it, 7002. Multiplying by 10 is a lot like multiplying by 1. When a number is multiplied by 10, its digits remain the same, but the value of each digit increases by one place value. You're probably like, huh, what did this little person just say? Here, watch this. Remember that one times nine was nine, so 10 times nine is 90. The digit nine increased by one place value spot. 53 times one was 53, so 53 times 10 is 530. The 50 became 500, and the 3 became 30. Do you see the pattern? Multiplying by 10 is the same as multiplying by 1, but we move every digit to the next place value spot by putting a 0 in the 1's place. Now, you try.